Alright, here's our last patient for this suite. Um, it's a 3 ton water source seat pump, Climate Master 1986 model, and same as all the rest. And uh, looked around, I got to the fan side first, and it said that uh, it got a, new, got a new blower motor and wheel, and uh, 515 of 01. And then I looked over on this side, and it says new compressor contactor. Uh, I thought maybe. Maybe it was a new compressor and a new contactor, but looking in there, it just looks like the original compressor, so I'm sure they just uh, put a new contactor in. Um, but uh, this unit has been running fine in cooling mode. We'll uh, want to go kick it over to heat real quick, see how it reacts. And <laughs> nothing. All right. New contactor or no. Look at all this. Look at all this BS in the way here, though. I got a hot water line here, cold water line here, condenser water here, condenser water there. How do you even get to this thing, man? I'm gonna give that reverse and got a little smack. Let's see if that changes anything. Okay, I'll probably do that with the other hand or something. But that ain't good. That reversing valve, I don't know. I wouldn't bother to change that one out. I'd swap the whole unit. Yeah, it did not did not like cycling over to heat, that's for sure. Put the pressure switch reset. And that bad boy off. Alright, heat on. And it's just cut off both. You can hear the solenoid energizing and de-energizing, but the reversing valve isn't doing nothing. Okay. Alright, well, I don't know how much time I want to spend on this unit. It's uh, pretty, pretty evident what the problem is. Uh, so, overall this week, we got a... Uh, Two ton, first one we looked at, which is usually the problem child, but that was perfectly fine. Uh, we got a four ton with a bad reversing valve, um, and a three ton with a bad reversing valve. So, this one, because of its location, I would certainly. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. Um, yeah, I w I'm going to recommend they replace. This unit for sure. Uh, maybe le so. Re replace, relocate this unit because this is in a bad, terrible corner here. Uh, uh, replace the reversing valve on the four ton, and uh, maybe leave the two ton. All right, uh, I'm ringing here, so I gotta go. Uh, all right, everybody, we're back over here in the suite 388 and our three ton unit. Um, and I just uh. I've been trying to troubleshoot it a little bit more. I don't, uh, I'm all for replacing the building original units whenever, uh, whenever we have the money to do it. Um, but this unit, I mean, it seems like it's in real pretty good shape. It just didn't, uh, it was just acting a little weird, you know? I figured, oh, you know, it's got to be the reversing valve. That's what it always is. But, um, you know, uh, looking at it a little closer, found a couple other things that might be causing us a problem. You see, uh, right here we have the control transformer, um, and it's uh, hooked up properly. It's going to all the right places. Um, and this red wire right here, which has been taped off and capped, not used, is the 208 volt uh, primary uh, tap, um, which is what we have here. So uh, this is a 208 single phase system. So we should have, this red wire should be 
hooked up to our uh, primary voltage over here on the contactor, our high voltage. But instead, the orange wire, which is the uh, how they come from the factory, is hooked up, uh, which is for 240 volt. So, um, as many other videos have detailed, that uh, having the wrong primary voltage hooked up on your control transformer will not necessarily cause things to not work. Obviously, this one worked for, you know, uh, until 2001, and then they replaced the fan motor and the contactor. A uh, fan motor is probably unrelated, but the contactor was very likely um, worn out because it was hooked up to the wrong uh, primary voltage for all those years, and yet they replaced the contactor, and whoever did that didn't, I mean, they didn't even uh, take a look at it and consider, you know, that as a problem. So they're obviously just parts changers, you know. That's what, uh, that's the difference between a technician and a, you know, anyone, any monkey can change parts. I mean, it's just screws and nuts and bolts and stuff. A technician diagnoses stuff. So, me being the technician in this case, I'm going to hook up that 208 volt tap and um, see if that doesn't correct any problems um, with it uh, transitioning over to heat. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Um, maybe difficult to tell at this point because uh, other components have likely been worn out from years of having the wrong voltage hooked up. So, um, but we'll see what we can do. Um, I had this situation before where I had to. I basically had to replace all the electrical components because of that same situ situation. Um, the blower relay was bad. The control transformer itself was bad. Um, like a capacitor was bad also. Um, I don't know if that had anything, anything to do with it, but there was a lot of electrical components. I also was changing out the blower motor, but like I said, that was probably unrelated. But um, Okay, so I'm going to change that over. And uh, we'll uh, see if that doesn't uh, solve any problems for us here. Talk to you later. <coughs> All right. Um, swap the uh, the control transformer tap over to the right one for 208. There's a 241 cap there. And um, the unit seems to be running. Um, we got it running in the cooling right now. And. Uh, discovered something kind of interesting and I want to go verify right now uh, my suspicions and that is when I kick the thermostat over to heat it uh, it cuts it right out right away just click and uh, I was talking to a friend of mine here a more experienced friend of mine and uh, he and it doesn't do anything when you flip it back over to cooling either. And um, ran through with, with him what I did thus far, diagnosed it, told him what was happening, and uh, said, well, you know, it almost, uh, almost has got to be the reversing valve. You know, uh, when that thing switches over, it's cutting it out on high pressure or something. But uh, that uh, doesn't seem to hold true. Um, because it cuts out even before the unit could be, I mean, even before the high pressure could be cutting it out. And besides, uh, it still did that when I had uh, the pressure switches jumped out. So, um, but interestingly enough here, uh, I, d I think I have to reset it before this will work, but you see there's the reversing valve solenoid clicking on and off, on and off, on and off. And then uh, go ahead and reset our lockout relay here because for whatever reason it's uh, cut out. And then we'll put the disc back in. And uh, yeah, this is, this is a weird problem. This is not one you come across every day. I mean, maybe you do, but. And uh, if you look, the contactor is pulled in. Um, we check the voltage, coil voltage. I bet you we got 24 volts. I mean, now uh, since this control transformer was hooked up wrong for for so long, it's possible it was just putting out not quite enough voltage to fully um, fully make the connection or something. Oh, 
this. Um, so whatever it is, there's a, uh, I'm going to check the amp draw next to see what that's looking like before we head on that. But uh, if you look here, it's running right now and the uh, bursting valve is act, uh, energized so it's in cooling. We'll go ahead and uh, take the wire off. Kicks right over the heat, no problem. No complaints. Let it run the heat for a few seconds. Back over to cooling, no problem. So, one of several things is going on here. Uh, that lockout relay is doing something funny. It's uh, opening up when it shouldn't. Who knows? Uh, or it's a problem with the thermostat itself. Now it's a old uh, mercury bulb thermostat. So usually a mechanical thermostat like that will not have uh, any kind of internal problem that would cause something of this nature. But there we go again. Back to heat. No complaints. The pressure switches are wired up. So if there's any pressure issues, it'd be cutting out. Back to cool. So that's a weird one. Um, I checked out this little start assist here, which is an OEM part. I talked to my supply house. They don't have it. I have to go to Carrier to get it. Because, uh, I thought maybe that was the problem. Um, but it seems to be alright. It's got... It doesn't have a microfarad reading on it, so I don't know how what to test it by, but, uh... I got a 280 microfarads on there, so I would, I don't know of any start assist that would be more than that. Um, it ohmed out, so it's not like it's open. That's a weird one. That's just a weird problem. So, so we're in cooling right now. Cuts it out instantly. How do you like that? And then keeps it. Holds it. That's almost, almost got to be a problem with the thermostat. That's just too weird. Um. All right, I'm gonna uh, get it running again. I'm gonna check the amp draw, and uh, I might, I might just put a new thermostat on there too, and see if that doesn't solve things. Um, if everything else looks normal said obviously pressure would have been uh, cutting itself out if that was a, if it was a reversing valve problem but I don't, I don't believe it is at this point so we'll uh, um, all right I'll fire it back up again and see what we find out